Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst, and on today's show, we head to one of the Midwest premier walleye factories, Lake of the Woods. Now, what I love about this body of water is uh, if you get up there in the islands, it's a structure fisherman's dream. And I also get to spend time with one of my favorite fishing buddies, Dave Kuntz, who always finds a way to make sure that we have an incredible amount of fun out there on the ice. So stick around with us here today. We're running out of Oak Island Sunset Lodge in search of a great walleye bite on Lake of the Woods. Hey Coons, this is the best one I've grilled so far. You should definitely fish that one first. <laughs> Don't make me put this thing down. Oh, come on. I'm gonna I think go you should go grab a rod. I think you should. I think we need a little host magic going on here. Alright. Well, maybe it's a two-step. Both right. gotta be down there. That's right. Ah, I got one, Coach. Oh, nice. First hole. What do you got on? I got a slab wrap, sir. Nice. Perch colored. Boy, and he woofered it right up. Not a giant by any means. You know, Mitch uh, at sunset was uh, pretty adamant that we have a fish fry. Should we keep a couple? I'm, I'm for that. I mean, he looks tasty. Oh, yeah. All right, you're coming home with us, buddy. Well, that, to me, right there is good eats. Two of those that size, that's all I'll need. Kunt throws a couple in the uh, kitty and we'll eat like kings tonight. And Sunset makes a really good fish fry. All right, so that one's going on the ice. Slab wrap. I don't know if it's the best bait going today because that's the first hole I fished. <laughs> I've marked one fish and he ate it, so that's a pretty good start. But the uh, reason I picked it was, you know, a little orange, definitely perchy, but it's got that nice gold sides to it. Gold up here on Lake of the Woods is always a perennial favorite. There we go. Oh, Coons is into one. <laughs> you about the size of yours, I think, James? Yes, sir. Well, look at him. I think we're gonna keep him. He just engulfed that tingler spoon. Yeah. He's a he's a bleeding pretty good, so I think we'll just let him bleed and we'll have him for dinner. You picked out this gold one here. Why'd you pick that out, James? Glow goldfish. It's kind of like a 91 mile an hour slider on the outside corner of the plate. It always works. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be good eats. Right. <laughs> Here comes another one. Got him. All right. Two drops, two fish. Why do we come to Lake of the Woods? <laughs> you get a decent weather pattern and it's always pretty good. Ouch. Got my finger a little bit there. Two fish, two drops, two going home with me. I'm done, that's all I need. <laughs> I'll see you back at the headquarters. Right. You know, we're up here so early this year. Uh, typically we'll come up here, and Dave and I have a long history coming up here to uh, Sunset Fishing Lake of the Woods. I've always had just phenomenal trips, some really uh, you know, trips of a lifetime oh, that I can remember. There's another one. He's got another one. We're up here so early this year because the ice got a really good start. Uh, there's just no traffic, there's no pressure yet at all. Uh, you come up out on these reefs or these shoreline structures and nobody's fished them for months and the fish act it. They definitely uh, remind you that they uh, have not had any fishing pressure for a while. What's it look like, Coons? It looks like a twin to that first one. Well, you're done too. So we're, our eats are in. There we go. Here comes another one. Dinner. 
Ta-da! There he is. <laughs> Woohoo! This one's a little better, Quincy. Man, I love it up here. Beautiful scenery, some amazing walleye fishing. Oh, there's another one on the bottom. Ooh, definitely a better fish. Yep, not a giant, but we're climbing the ladder here. That one there, even if he was my first fish, I'd probably let him go. I got those two perfect eaters on the ice. We'll fire this one back. At the rate I'm going with this slab wrap, that's a number five. I might not ever change baits today, and I do have another one just waiting for me down there. See you later, fish. Strike Master introduces the new Lithium 40 Volt. Everything you've ever wanted in an ice auger. With a 40% increase in cutting speed over the competition and up to 100 holes per charge, the Lithium 40 Volt has the power and stamina you need and the two amp rapid charger that can bring a fully discharged 40 volt battery pack to a full charge in as little as two and a half hours. The new Lithium 40 Volt, only from Strike Master. Otter, the leader in quality and innovation, is opening doors with the release of the all new Crossover Series Ice Shelters. All crossover shelters convert from traditional front door entry to convenient side door entry and back again in seconds. Otter, the toughest, strongest, smartest, and now most versatile shelter on ice. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. This winter, set a trap for your next trophy with iFish Pro. Ideal for all species, iFish Pro is an innovative fishing system that allows an angler to use their favorite rod and reel instead of trying to manage the fish hand over hand. Oh, right Complete your ice fishing arsenal with iFish Pro, tactical ice gear that puts the fight back into tip up fishing. Look at that. Find oh, iFish Pro go. online at iFishPro.com or at your favorite sporting goods retailer. Get him, Koontz, eh? Oh. Oh. Koontz is rocking the hair trigger today. Here comes one for me. Oh, I missed him. I don't think I rolled him. There he is. Get oh. him. They are firing up right now, Koontz. I like it. Another eater. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at that. It's stuck like this in his mouth. <laughs> uh, there, is no, there is no hook in this fish's mouth. <laughs> he literally has it up and down in his mouth and it can't pull out. <laughs> Atta boy, you're gonna be the heavyweight champ of the world someday, buddy. I'm letting you go. <laughs> I've seen this a lot at night. Yeah, just turn it straight and out it comes. Fishing walleyes at night, pulling husky jerks. That happens fairly often. <laughs> oh yeah. Atta baby. I just got a little better bend to it. Oh yeah. You still going meatless on that spoon? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? He wants to stay. He actually stuck his head in my pocket. <laughs> no, I have to go back. Oh, there he goes. Ah. <laughs> you make me smile, Dave. Bruce. <laughs> it's been so regular that they come up and they get right by the jig. And I'm like setting the hook before he hits it. <laughs> just because I know he's oh. gonna hit it. Jeez, he's got that just engulfed. You what are, you got there? Uh, you're a, a, a pace setter here. You're paving the way on how to catch fish without bait out a spoon. <laughs> well, back home I don't like to use bait. You got more waiting for you? Yeah. There's another one right down there. If I can get him out of the broadside, come on. Spoon can't go down fast enough, can it? No. This place has always been good to you and I. Have we ever had a bad trip up here? Um, uh, that cold front that came in after the day, but... Oh, you mean the, the, the cold front that came in after the day we caught 75 big yeah. ones? <laughs> That's just crazy what the weather does to these fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one comes screaming in. Nice. 
Come here, you. There you go. Aggressive. Boy, the fish populations aren't hurting here at all, are they? No. It's wonderful to see these really healthy fisheries like this. And you'll get them from this size all the way up to, you know, 30, 31. True giants. Later, buddy. I moved over to this 24 there foot stuff like you were fishing, <laughs> exactly. Oh. Pretty good way to start the day, eh? My jaw's hurting. <laughs> I love it. Yep. Are you still not tipping that thing? <laughs> nope. I mean, yep. I'm still not tipping it. I didn't know how to answer that. <laughs> it was a yep or a no. We should tell the folks watching this that, you know, if they come up here to Lake of the Woods, they got to be pre uh, prepared to go toe to toe with some really wily, you know, walleyes. <laughs> it's all this early season fishing. I mean, it'll be like this through most of January. I like it. I like it a lot. This is the earliest you and I have ever come up before, isn't it? I, I mean, think so. You, we're usually after the new year, right? Yes. Yeah. I've been telling you I wanted to give you a couple of days before the new year. and You know how hard it is for me to save up the time. And I'm very happy I did. There he is. I mean, they're acting like they're starved. <laughs> <laughs> this last one, Coons? Yeah. He tried to eat it, come up so fast he shot right past it. <laughs> just like, okay, just let him drift back down to the bottom, come up and take another run at it. And he did. Yeah, exactly. The spoon is literally at the base Gone. of his throat. There's no bad time to come up here, but early ice like this is nice. I like the weather when you don't have to sit in an ice house. <sighs> Teener. See you later, boss. Okay, here comes one. Come on, baby. Come on. Coots, cool. so we might have to wear out these fish and then uh, go hunt down some bigger ones. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> Cootsie! <laughs> have you broke down and put a minnow on yet? Nope. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> nice. Coots, you're going to throw out your shoulder. <laughs> Look at that. He did a one and a half. One and a half gainer? <laughs> yep. There you go, big fella. There we go. In-depth outdoors, spot on the spot ID. On today's spot on the spot ID, I want to share some ideas with you to help you locate your own hot walleye bite at early ice on Lake of the Woods. Now to do that, we're using the Contour Elite software that lets us take a look at Lake Master mapping data on our computer. So here's the basic scenario you want to be looking for at early ice when you're up here on Lake of the Woods. And this pattern will hold true for about a month. So we're looking for rocky structures, primarily reefs. You will also find some fish located on shorelines of the islands or the mainland itself. But primarily we're looking for reefs that are disconnected from shorelines. And those reefs are not gonna be in the deepest water available, not yet. Uh, later in the winter, we get into February, you're gonna be looking for reefs that are much deeper and that are surrounded by the deepest water you can find in this area. Right now we're looking for reefs that are positioned in 24 to 26 feet of water. We want those reefs to top out in 15, maybe 18 feet of water. Those are the areas that are gonna hold concentrations of fish at early ice. Now I'm gonna show you an example. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. So here's a great example of what I'm talking about. We've got some reefs surrounded by 25, 26 foot of water. Uh, they're not huge rock structures, uh, but what they do have is access to deeper water midday and uh, early and late in the day, you know, sunrise and sunset. We're looking for those reef tops that have 15 to 18 foot of water on top of them. So here's a great example. Tops out at about 16 feet of water. Uh, you've got the deeper water all around it. It's good rock bottom up here. There's gonna be lots of bait fish in this area. And to break things down further, uh, early in the day, late in the day, the fish are gonna be right up on top in large numbers. They're gonna be actively schooled and feeding. Uh, it's a great time to be on Lake of the Woods right around sundown when you're on one of these pieces of structure. So stick with this general idea in mind when you're up here in the angle on Lake of the Woods. Uh, shallower reef tops that come up to that 15 to 18 foot of water range and you're not out in that really deep water yet, that 32, 34, 36 feet of water, you're looking for reefs that are gonna bottom out in about 25, 26 feet of water and this pattern is gonna hold together for the next month. If you're up in the area, check it out. It's gonna put a lot of fish on the ice for you.
Stadium Shuttle, only from Markham Technologies. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. At Aluma, we make the longest lasting, most dependable enclosed trailers on the road today. By building quality, our competition just can't match. Our all aluminum construction gives you a heavy duty but lightweight trailer that can handle your tough hauls. Aluma trailers are engineered for ease of use with you in mind. All packed by our unbeatable five year warranty. Work or play, get there with Aluma. We're in it for the long haul. Boy, Quincy. It been a while. I didn't even get it on the graph. Went to jig it and he was on it. You know who has more fun catching fish than you, Coons? Who? Me. Nice. <laughs> Come on up, yeah. No, don't do that. Not my nicest fish so far. Eh, maybe not. I'll tell you this though, there's no spoon left. Boy, they're not shy today, I'll tell you that. Real nice one. Back you go. There's another one waiting. They are just stacked. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Ooh, there we go. You feeling that one in your elbow, Coach? Yeah. You're making me think it's legit? Maybe. A little bigger than the last one, but it wouldn't take much. I'm not gonna run over and offer any help until I hear a full-blown grunt on the hook side. Yes! <laughs> there we go. Nicely done, Coons. Man alive. This is so sweet. Till we meet again. <laughs> See ya. Oh! Ooh. Come here, you. There we go. That's a nice fish. And there's another one just waiting. There's something about it. Heck of a nice fish. Was fishing it really high. I had a couple smaller fish, and I kept the slapper up very high, four feet above the bottom or so, and this fish just fired up to the small fish, came up like a freight train and just ate it. All right, buddy, see you later. Today, both Koontz and I are fishing uh, real similar combos, uh, Okuma reels. This is a Helios SX20. A little bit of a higher end reel, just got a great drag uh, at a great price point. It's not a real expensive reel, but it just feels like it. Very good drag on it. And then the rod here, this is the rod that we've been fishing over the last couple years and certainly all the walleye episodes uh, so far in season 13. We use this one on Mille Lacs, using it today here on Lake of the Woods. What I love about it, uh, it's that long 38 inch tuned up custom rod commander. It's got a very soft tip. It transitions really quickly into a great backbone. And what I love about that is it allows me to get good hook sets when fishing mono line. Uh, mono's got a lot of stretch to it. When we're outside, uh, obviously today's not really cold, but I want that versatility to be able to get outside, hole hop, and regardless of the conditions, I wanna have a line that's not gonna ice up a lot. And that's what this combination gives me. Tuned up custom commander, 38 inches, just a lot of versatility to it, great control of the bait, very sensitive. And when you combine it with that monofilament with some stretch, because it has such a great backbone, you get really good hook sets. It is, without a doubt, my favorite walleye rod. Here it comes. Boom! Exact same thing. <laughs> Not as big as the last one, 
but I think I might be onto something. <laughs> I'm fishing that bait abnormally high above the, uh, the bottom, and these fish are seeming to really dig it. I would assume it's helping these fish see that bait from a long way off. I'm on a pretty sharp break here. It's real shallow behind me, and it just keeps dropping off in front of me. If you fish a bait tight to the bottom on a sharp break, it's really easy for the fish to lose that bait in the bottom. All right, great eater. Luckily for that one, we're done keeping for the day. So let me demonstrate that again. If I can do that three times in a row, that's pretty cool. So a lot of times walleye anglers get uh, kind of bought into the idea that walleyes are bottom feeders, you gotta fish the bait close to the bottom. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually getting these fish really charged up by keeping it about four feet off the bottom. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. features not found on any other underwater viewing system, the Quest HD from Markham Technologies offers a vivid 7-inch widescreen display, Sony camera, and the ability to send video to a TV over HDMI in full 1080p. The Quest HD offers on-screen display of direction, temperature, and depth. This season, get your eyes below the ice and see what you've been missing on the big screen with a Quest HD underwater viewing system from Markham Technologies. Good one? A little better. Ugh. Not a monster, but still better. Here comes one, here comes. Got him. I mean, they're hitting at the top of my zoom. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello. That's a nicer fish. This is really cool. I mean, this is like a half dozen drops in a row. Now they all haven't been this big. They've been kind of spread all over the size range, but I've had a couple like this in five minutes. Come on fish, you all tied up there or what? There we go. Super nice Lake of the Woods walleye. They are really aggressive right now. All right, see you later. Send friends. All right, so I'm dropping it down. You know, typically you'd come in and you'd fish right near the bottom. But what I'm doing is I'm keeping the bait way up here, and I think it's allowing those bait or those fish to silhouette that bait. They see it way up above them, and it must look incredibly vulnerable. And they just come flying up on it. Whoa, see what I mean? Got him. <laughs> I mean, they just come out of nowhere. When you fish those baits along the bottom, they're nowhere near as aggressive. You get it up there a long way, and they're just woofing it. You know, anytime you see a bait, like half of it gone in the mouth of a walleye like that, it tried to eat it all. Cool pattern, you gotta try it. Could be with spoons, jigging wraps, with these slab wraps. If you're not getting those fish along the bottom to respond the way you want to, crank that bait three, four feet up off the bottom give it a shot. When they want it that way, they just become just ultra aggressive. I'm gonna see if we can't get a couple more of those on the flasher. It's really cool to watch. 
And trust me, I sat here and I fished two different colors of spoons with minnow heads right tight to the bottom. Couldn't get bit by anything but the smallest walleye. So this is my zoom side on the uh, Markham LX9. And you can see there's already a fish. I guarantee you that fish can see that bait already. So I'm gonna stop it high, let it come up to me. Now you might be tempted to drop that bait down to those fish. Don't do it. Here he comes. Whoop, got him. That one was a little bit harder to coax. But when you see, you know, when you've got that big bar of fish below your bait and you can see it kind of pulsating, where it's kind of moving around in circles, it's agitated. Just give it time and it's gonna fire up and eat that bait. Just like that. Gone. I bet you, I won't even guess the number of fish we've caught that size today. Uncountable. So far this is the day that I'm gonna remember when it's February, it's 35 below zero, it's blowing just awful. This is the day that I'll think back on and go, yeah, well, at least I had that day to make up for some of those real bitter days that are yet to come. So that brings us to the end of today's show and let me tell you, Lake of the Woods rarely disappoints. This is one of those days where the fish bit from start to finish. Uh, I love it up here in the islands and if you're looking to get in on a really good walleye bite, make sure you check out the accommodations at Sunset Lodge on Oak Island. I'd love to take all the credit for finding these fish. Truth is, Sunset Lodge and their staff did a great job of pointing us in the right direction. So that great walleye bite that we experienced today is only gonna get better, so give them a call. Now before we go, I want to remind everybody, as always, that we're giving away a chance to fish and film an episode of In-Depth Outdoors with the staff and crew. To get entered, go to our homepage, indepthoutdoors.com, look for the Dream Trip Giveaway graphic, click on that, and get yourself entered. One lucky winner is going to walk away with a great prize pack and a chance to film an ice fishing episode with all of us here at In-Depth Outdoors. So, Happy New Year's, everybody. We're looking forward to a great 2019 out there on the ice. We hope you're having a great time as well. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In-Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.